If your reductionist science background is anything like mine, you're probably imagining soil carbon as individual atoms either laying or bouncing around the soil, and nothing could be further from the truth. I met with Dr. Will Brinton, who was able to give us a more holistic picture of the subject. I tell people there's no such thing in soil as C, carbon. It doesn't exist as carbon. It exists as organic matter from living, once living material, detritus that's decomposing, and you can't see it here, but there's humus all through here that has carbon in it. 50% of humus is carbon. The rest is hydrogen, oxygen, and some minerals, nitrogen in particular, and then phosphorus and a little sulfur, bound up in this complex molecule. But here's what I'm saying about carbon. It's really, the, you have to see it in the active sense of being carbon dioxide. Well, when, when I say carbon dioxide, you say, oh, there's CO2 in the air, and that's what all the climate change discussion is about. But these soils are producing CO2 from the carbon. How, it's not a chemical reaction. It's a biological process. Microorganisms are feeding on this organic matter right here and turning it into nutrients for the body and releasing the C as CO2, which is coming up here, diffusing up through the soil. The beauty of the CO2 relationship is that what's the primary requirement of a growing plant that absorbs sunlight? It's going to be carbon, carbon dioxide. That's correct. Without the carbon dioxide, no sugars are formed and the whole infrastructure of plant metabolism doesn't happen. So we naively think, oh, plants are just getting the CO2 from the air. But if you think dynamically, the CO2 is coming from the soil. And this is a great canopy here to show it. These are rich soils, there's a high activity, we've measured the respiration rate in the soil, we can quantify that now as CO2 per acre. That's what's getting really exciting. This plant canopy has a very high CO2 demand during full growth, probably in the order of 50 to 100 pounds of CO2 per day while these radish plants are at full growth. Where is the CO2 coming from? Well, isn't it convenient that's being produced right here in the soil? and it's bubbling up out of the soil, so to speak, by capillary and diffusion, going past the water molecules and soil particles, and the plant leaves are grabbing it and recycling it immediately. So the humus, it was humus one minute, next hour it's CO2, another hour later it's synthesized sugar in the plants and it's on its way back down into the soil. Carbon dioxide requirements can be quantified, and I believe we will find that there's evidence that canopies during full growth are CO2 limited and what that means is photosynthesis saturates out early so the plant can't take up nitrogen if the CO2 isn't there commensurate to meet the requirement of the metabolism because taking up nutrients is a metabolically depleting process it's not a passive process so it's a whole system and I think as we begin to quantify CO2 we're going to have some astonishing discoveries here in terms of crop yield limitations and then we're going to change our farming practices to be carbon oriented. Because it's not just NPK, it's CNPK. That's the difference.